This video is about MR imaging of an anterior cruciate ligament tear. The anterior cruciate ligament, ligament, cruciate ligament or ACL, runs from the posterior lateral part of the intercondylar notch anteromedially to the anterior intercondylar area of the tibia. Most of the tears take place in the proximal or middle part. A bony avulsion is mostly seen at the tibial insertion. In case of a ligament tear, the normal fiber orientation can't be defined anymore and the normally low ligament signal in T1 and T2 is focally along its whole course brightened. Here you see the PD weighted image where you see the very bright signal in the course of the anterior cruciate ligament. Also here in this case you see the bright anterior cruciate ligament which in this area you can't identify it anymore. And here there is a partially seen posterior cruciate ligament. The posterior cruciate, cruciate ligament is better seen on the next slide here, which has a normal low signal. A complete tear goes through the full thickness, whereas a partial tear, a part of the ligament can still be identified. Normally, the ACL runs straight parallel to the Blumensart line, which corresponds to the root of the intercondylar notch. Indirect signs of a ligament tear are rounded sac to amorphous ligament. Often you find associated bone contusions of the posterolateral tibial plateau and the lateral femoral condylus. In avulsion of the lateral capsule at the lateral tibial plateau, the so-called second fracture, is almost 100% associated with the ACL tear and can already be seen on a radiograph. Another radiographically detectable sign for an ACL tear is a draw sign, which is the anterior displacement of the tibia relative to the femur. Isolated ACL tears are an exception so that you should always have an eye on further in injuries like meniscal tears. Here you have a coronal view, again, where in the accepted, uh, expected location of the ACL you have this bright signal. Also here in this region. And additionally, you see bone contusion, this bright signal in the lateral tibial plateau as well as the proximal fibula. The differential diagnosis of a signal intensified ACL is hemocenous degeneration and ganglion formation. If there is no history of trauma, it can be hard to differentiate degeneration from partial tears. In case of chronic tear, you won't be able to identify any ligamentous structure but fatty replacement instead, which is called the empty notch sign. The treatment is conservative for stable partial tears as well as elderly or inactive patients. The surgical repair is usually done with avulsion or by using an auto alloy or synthetic graph. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, it would be great if you shared, liked or commented it. You are welcome to subscribe my channel for free. Just click here. If you want to watch another of my videos, click here. If you want to go directly to my channel, click here.